Now, before we create a controller for the head, I want to show you how you can create custom controllers. This is going to lead into a little bit of metal scripting, but don't worry, it's going to be easy enough to follow. If we go to create, I'm going to go down to polygon and then create a cube. You see, we get a cube down here. I'm going to press F and that's going to focus in on our cube. If I go down to this tab, this is the script editor. I can press that and I can see that this is what we did in Maya. And this line is actually creating the cube that we want. So if I copy this by pressing Ctrl C with it highlighted and I press here and I create a new tab, the small plus icon, I can press Ctrl V and I can Ctrl Alt to select Alt and then press play. You can see that actually created a new cube. So that is how simple mail scripting works. I'm telling you this because we're now going to create a custom controller. We have this cube and we want to make this into a NURBS, a NURBS circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to create and curve tool, CV curve tool option box, and I'm going to press linear. I'm just going to hide the editor. And now that we have this tool selected, I'm going to hold down V and V is going to snap it to the vertices. And you can see that we have all of these corners. So holding down V and then pressing, you can see it snaps to all the corners and I'm just pressing all the corners now. And this is going to allow me to create a curve that resembles the box that we have. It's okay to press the same ones again because we can't stop the curve and merge them. We want to create it all in one go. So just keep pressing and make sure that you get around all the corners and create the curve. And then I'm going to press enter. So now this looks exactly like the cube, but it's actually not. If I drag this out to the side, you can see we created a curve and this is great because we can use this controller for other stuff as well. If I press undo and I go back to my script editor, I can see it actually did create a whole script for me that I can just use. And then I'll create a controller that looks like a cube. So if I select all of that line that we just did from here where it says curve, I'm going to press control V and then down here, I'm just going to delete what we have. And then I'm going to press control V. If I then press the execution, I now have another cap and I can just do this by a button press. And that means that you can do all kinds of shapes, but the easiest way I find is to kind of do a rough model and then create a curve from that. If you want, you can select this and middle mouse drag it to the shelf. And then you have a script that you can execute. They'll just do this cube, which is really, really handy. This video is sponsored by me. I'm excited to introduce my first ever course where beginners can learn how to rig a character in my Autodesk. It's super duper easy to follow at a affordable price and by buying it, you are supporting me. Check out this introduction video right now.